Hello friends, I am Vikram from EasyOn Technologies. Welcome to my Spring video series. Today I am going to talk about how to configure Spring without XML. So earlier in a previous video session we have seen how to configure Spring using XML and today my focus will be based on zero XML configuration. So the configuration will be purely based on annotation. In fact, when you come to the real uh, application, you can configure the mixed strategy. So XML and annotation will be uh, used together in that in those applications. So it is possible to mix. But my focus today is on the annotation based programming. Right. So let's move on to the coding. So here you have to create a simple project. So this is my simple project I'm creating through the Maven. So select the Maven category here and select a simple Java application. Name your project. So let me name my project. So first pure annotation spring application. So this is my project name. I'm going to save my project in desktop. OK. Now this is the group ID and group ID is representing your company. So I'm going to use here the reverse domain. So this is my website is easyon.in. So I'm using reverse domain in.easyon and this is the version of this project. And you can use here package. So let me say here this is a spring. Now say finish. A project will be created here. right this is ready and uh, we have to configure here look at this there is no dependencies available here so first we have to configure this spring related dependencies here so you can check the website here spring io dot spring dot io and uh, I'm going to use project and this is my spring framework right this is the spring framework and uh, you can use the dependency here look at this this, this is the maven dependency i am going to copy here and this is how you have to do this so i am using here 4.3.7 release and look at this save this program uh, one more thing one more thing i forget here i have to use here dependencies tag so this is dependencies and close the dependencies here okay fine this is all set now so look at this as soon as you have added the dependency here you can check all the XMLs which is taken from my repository so initially first time the dependencies will be downloaded from the online rep online repository and once it is downloaded from the repository it will be present in your local repository so next time it will not download from the internet so it is referring here it is already there now let me create a class here which is your bean class let me say this hello bean so this is my hello bean class and this class will be initialized by spring so I'm going to create a method here this is public and uh, this method will return a message here and the method name is hello so let's return some value so this is hello spring welcome to easy on so it's ready now this method will be uh, this bean will be created by spring IOC container so this is ready here now I'm going to create a very important class here which is a configuration class so let me call here this app config so this is uh, this is equivalent to your spring configuration XML file as we have done in the previous session so this time we do not have XML I'm going to configure through the annotation based configuration so try this now I'm going to make it this is configurable configuration right so you have to use this so this is configuration I have added here 
and if you want to scan your classes if you want spring to scan the classes from certain from some specific package you can add one more annotation here this is component scan so this is component scan and you can specify the argument here the base packages means spring will search for the bean classes from this package so I'm going to use this package in dot easy on dot so I'm just using a base package here that's it in fact you can pass here multiple base packages so look at this its name is packages means you can pass here multiple packages if required so I'm using a single package here right now so this is in dot easy on I'm just using this base package and spring will scan all the uh, sub packages automatically right so this is how we can see now spring will scan the classes from here but spring cannot scan all the classes spring only identify certain kind of classes like uh, spring can identify the class where you have done some service kind of annotation or you have used some component annotation or this is component component annotation or some repository annotation etc so spring will can identify only these classes but here I'm not going to use the any of these annotation I'm going to configure a bean and this is the place where you can configure your beans so configure any bean here so in this first example I'm going to create the beans so this these are the customized beans you can configure as per your requirement so I have one hello bean so as we have already done in the XML file we used to declare the bean in the XML file similarly I can create here a bean so let me create a getter method here this is a, a kind of factory this is actually a factory which will create the object so let me create this I required here hello bean object it's a public method this is hello bean and a method required here this is get hello bean so this method will create the object this get hello bean and I'm going to create here hello bean this is hello bean hello bean and this is new hello bean so this is the bean created here and you have to return this right and the important thing you have to add here is it's a bean and you have to use this annotation bean right look at the uh, classes and annotations all are imported uh, from a proper package it's all set now so this is your this is similar to your spring XML configuration file so this is a configuration and this is the bean we have added here now it's time to initialize here so create a main class here this is the main class it's time to initialize the spring framework and this is my test annotation configuration so we have to create here one object which is called application context so I'm going to use here let's have a small discussion on that so we required here application context object this is the main object of the uh, this is the main object representing the spring IOC container so this is your application context and there are multiple implementations possible for this class and few implementations are already given here you can check the Java documentation here so look at this this is the application context interface and uh, you will see here some implementation this is actually your factory because it is extending the bean factory so bean factory is the topmost interface in this hierarchy so it is a factory because it is creating all the objects so bean factory and this is the parent interface and now it is extended to application context and there are some 
implementations you will see here so let me show you some important implementation so this class path xml application context is one implementation we can use this one to find the xml if you have done the xml configuration then it is ok and one more thing if your file is available in the file system you can use this file system xml application context so two things are must here one is a location of the file and the file type so xml is representing the configuration file and it is available in this location so two things you will see here and this is another implementation and I'm going to use here some more implementation one because I'm using here annotation based configuration so probably I will get here one annotation configuration just a moment so we required this annotation config application context this is what I'm looking for okay so this will work this will work for me so I'm going to use I'm going to create application context object using this annotation config application context so let's create this object here now this is my application context object just create this this is my context and I'm going to I'm going to create this annotation config application context and you can tell your configuration class so this is app config is your configuration class dot class you have to tell the class type okay now your factory is ready this is the factory it is ready to supply the object and you can ask for the bean here this is my hello bean this is the bean I will get from the factory and this is context dot get bean of type hello bean so I will get the hello bean from factory right now call a method here this is a method hello and this hello method is returning some value so this is the value I'm going to receive here this is the reply message and I'm going to just print that so we call, we'll, we are calling a method here hello and the response the result will be printed here so let's have a look at the output just run this right that's all look at the message here we can see here the message so this is the way we can configure a spring one more thing we can see here and here I have done a simple configuration and I have manually configured this bean I manually created this bean here in the factory but if you want a spring to configure your bean you can do one simple thing you create one more class here and I'm going to create here some more bean this is for example let me call this this is my test bean so this is my test bean and I want a spring to create this class so this is my test bean and I want a spring to create this so I just want to make it at the rate component so I'll make it component look at the package stereotype component and this bean will be now created by spring and let me create one more method here so this is this will return some more message so let me say here this is test method I'm using here and return some value return and this is hello test bean it's just enough right hello test bean this is the message we'll get from this method and this time uh, the bean object will be created by spring and automatically this class will be recognized by spring because it is using this component 
and we have already specified one important thing here look at this component scan spring will automatically scan the component from this package or all the child packages of this uh, base package right so this bean we have manually configured and this test bean will be configured by spring so let me use this just let me show you here look at this I'm going to get the object for this another bean so this is my test bean and this is my test bean I just call it T bean this is test bean and I will get from the factory so this will be context dot get bean of type test bean okay this is the bean and I can call here a method so just print that so message from test bean just print this just a moment okay message from test bean and that message will be printed here just do that test bean dot test so run this everything is fine so we are, there is a small difference this bean was configured and created using our code here we have created the hello bean using this bean declaration and this time this test bean will be automatically initialized by spring and both techniques you can use you can configure your beans manually or spring can initialize your beans look at this so this is the first one and this is the recent one so test bean we are able to see here and this time the test bean is created by the spring actually both the beans are created by spring but here we have done our manual configuration we define our strategy to create the hello bean and here in the second case the bean will be directly created by spring because it will recognize through the component so this is how you will see the simple configuration so this is enough for this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe my uh, channel so that you will get continuous updates you will be notified when I'm uploading anything here and uh, if you have any queries you can type in the comments and thank you very much for watching